Okay, time to get this last gym right here. Okay, there we go. Man, this game is going to be quite swell when uh, it comes out. Up ahead is where your dream ends. The one place you feel safest. Mm -hmm. I see that. You've always been a real sleepy head. Yeah, this sounds like kind of stalker. Maybe your dream will end up with you in your bed. Maybe. See, I know all about you. Pretty impressive, huh? I don't know. I hope this thing's actually in the real game. Because I've heard, um, this demo is... Are you ready? Then it's just up ahead. Uh, like the demo is not... This part of the demo. Like the gameplay you're seeing is supposedly not supposed to be in the actual game, but somehow it's linked to it. Like, this is like, I don't know, maybe they'll make it so, like, your character's asleep. And then, like, during that time he's asleep, it won't show up, but this is what happened. And so I'm imagining they're going to be doing this. But it, when they do, it's going to be like, whoa, this is awesome. I just can't wait to patrol and figure out the story. Because I love, um, already I love the story of this. I don't even know it, but it already seems awesome. I mean, I know this isn't going to be like us most of the time, because this is a dream world, obviously. And you don't play as uh, Kid Noctis, I'm assuming, throughout the whole game. You mind the dream sequences if you ever go to dream and more dream sequences, but you never know. I started uh, watching. I watched the first episode of the anime series. It's really good. Ooh, shiny. Oh, this place looks nice. It's the Citadel. It is the Citadel. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. <laughs> I like this. It looks nice. Like the white and red. It's your home and all, but is it really your safe place? No. no. See, me and him did it at the same time. I played this game before. I know when he says that. Ah. Hope you're afraid I'll protect you through your darkest dreams. Wow. This one will protect you through your darkest dreams. Mhm. Mm but remember, not. In the world of your dreams, you are king. I'm not afraid. He's not afraid. Is that really your doubt? Okay, so this, um, this part of demo I like especially because it's just so cool. How you could fight and stuff. You ever play Devil May Cry? I don't, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of it. Like it is, in Devil May Cry, you can hit it if it's the air, like stay in the air for a few seconds, start hitting them. Especially in the reboot, which, uh, I don't have mixed feelings about it. But, um, yeah. You have the scythe in the reboot where you can hit them in the air for a little bit and start spinning it. This looks pretty cool. As you can see, he's already half down. This boss fight isn't that hard. But, um, later in the video, I'm gonna do this boss fight again. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And when you do the boss fight again, he's gonna be level 15, besides the level he is now. And uh, he's not he's not hard at all, he's actually quite easier when he's level 51, which I don't think is supposed to be like that, but it is. Oop. Oh no, I used too much energy. Oh no. This move you need to run away from, or do the boost like I'm about to do. I think I want you to wake up, that's why the monster is here. Okay. I, I extremely recommend playing this demo because it is really fun. And it seems like you don't even need to know. I'm pretty sure in this one you don't need to know any of the Final Fantasy stories besides this one. Seems like this one isn't that much linked enough that you'll have to know. Like, I don't think you'll get lost in this one story. Oh. Let's see here. Hmm. Dude. Yeah, sometimes... I don't know why it does. Sometimes the AI just, like, loses you. And it's like, hmm, where did he go? I wonder where. And you're just like, what in the world? Yeah, I, I don't know what that does, but... I think it just busts his damage or something, but it, I've never really figured out what it does. But I've always killed him. Like, right when he does it. <laughs> and also, I'll show you how to do a crap ton more damage on him. I believe in your knock, you can do it! Oh, thank you. You did it, knock! 
Oh, I can teleport. Even though I'm not the grown-up media anymore. You can finally wake up. See, I'm gonna hold off to the ending because first I'm gonna show you the, uh... We're gonna get two of the rare weapons, or the unique weapons here. And, uh, we're gonna have to use that warp power that we just got, though. So, uh... Let's see if we can do that. Hey, everyone. I'm just hanging up here, you know? Just like, hello. But yeah, um... You may be wondering, do you lose your crystals after the boss fight? No, you do not. I just lost the clip, so I had to restart this. I just rushed over here. So, uh, these two plates. This is a platinum plate. Now, uh, my last, like, videos already beat the boss. But when you beat the boss, that platinum plate will be open. And the other one that was there, you have to collect a lot of the, uh, green little diamond ruby things. Rubies aren't red, but you know what I mean. And, uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and fight this guy again. And finish him off. And then after I do that, I use the warp power again. And, oop! I just got the, uh... Awesome thing. I can Devil May Cry, there's like triggers where you uh turn into like a super powered version of yourself and do all this cool stuff. Well, it's like that in this. I already did the voice. Uh. You did it, now you can do it. Now you can finally wake up. Okay. See, look, unlocked platinum plates at the bottom right. That means what we're gonna do is we're gonna not. We're gonna run right past the squirrel thing, the phoenix fox squirrel thing. It looks really awesome. And uh, we're gonna hit that plate way back there because that initiates the level 15 boss fight. During this boss fight, we're already going at those items. It's gonna be quite, quite good. Jolly good, my dear friends. That's what I think it would be. So, like, something stirs in the dreamscape. And then the, uh, the Phoenix Fox Pal, which is... His, his name, like, set, by the way, is Carbuncle. But, at the end of this demo, you get to choose his name. And I just put Zoron, just like that'd be a nice name. Okay, so what you want to do is you're gonna warp up those places, like I did earlier. You just go boop. So I'm gonna land on that one. I'm gonna get the shuriken. If I had this one right here, I would have got the shield, which, to tell you the truth, sucks. Almost. Well, it's, it's faster than the greatsword. It does the same damage, if not more. But I just don't like it as much. I like the... My favorite weapon here is the sword. But I'll showcase the shuriken. Oh, we have flag. There we go. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, it, it, just, it just happened. Um, yeah. Okay. So, this part I don't like because you have to like look to the right to actually get over here. So this is how you get a lot of damage on it. You go up here and do a warp strike. You see that? Times 7.1 damage. A whole lot. Now this is the uh, Amiga. I think is what it's called. It's like what I said with the devil trigger from Number Cry is. It's quite cool. I think it's called the devil trigger. It does that I'm not sure. Anyway, so I ran out. Now I want to showcase the shuriken. You don't have to be right next to him, but I'm just showing that. To see if I can get away. Right. But now, if you notice, at the bottom right is using my mana. That's the only thing that. Well, I guess it made it so it's not overpowered, but you need to be wary of that if you use this weapon. Cool. He, he took it out a lot of my health, actually. But it stuns him pretty easily. I'm almost out of mana, so I better use my sword. Doof. 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 And he's dead. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Ooh, it's had a big thing of Dr. Pepper. And it's already coming up. Oh, flag. As you can tell, I'm not standing in the same place I just was in the last few seconds. And, nope. Oh, the game's lagging. I don't know why it's doing that. It usually doesn't do that, but it just is. Okay, let's see. Yes, I would proceed to the ending. So my viewers, if I have any besides my friends, See it, and they can see what the ending's like. Let's see here. <laughs> hey, that's your dad's car, isn't it? Now I get it, this is your safe place. <laughs> Do -do -do. You can always be with your dad when you're riding in his car. That's true. I guess I can. He is the king. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. Everyone's waiting for you. Thanks. See you. You bet. Now in you go. See, I think it was weird. I don't know why, but it just makes you feel weird when he, like, stopped and he waved. And then he said, see you. He's like, see you. I think it's kind of delayed, but... Yeah, what am I going to do? Wait. I remember, remember your name. Now. Yeah, I originally said Carbuncle, but I put Zoran. 
I wanted it to be. You completed it. Here's a for some more than taste of what's to come. Final Fantasy, you will really knock the pinnacle bodies on a journey across the most expensive world. Okay, including your favorite little magic guy. I look forward to seeing you. See you again soon. Yep. See, chicken with hearts. I, don't, I still don't understand that one. See, I don't have money right now, but I will order it later. I and mean, I'll probably do the digital one, so I can go ahead and get the exclusive stuff for pre-ordering it. Pre-order now and get the angler fish fishing set and some, you know, some awesome little decals for your car. And a unique sword. Looks like a katana, which is pretty cool. Square Enix, you make quite good games. Quite good, quite good. So yeah, everybody, uh, this is the Platinum Demo of Final Fantasy XV. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you watched all the videos, so thank you and have a good night.